Hi guys, it's Charlene. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so it's Friday Favorites and today I am talking about a favorite that I literally just received. I know, kind of funny, right? Um, I love a vacuum cleaner robot. So about a year and a half ago, I purchased one from um, Niato or Nito, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but I call it Niato. And I used it for an hour, a year and a half and I loved it. And then uh, she broke and she was out of warranty. So I decided to, uh, cause she had issues. She would get stuck a lot. Um, you know, she would, uh, her bin was messed up, so I had to send her in and they sent me a new bin because she was under warranty. And so I just had issues with her for the year that I had her. And then um, since she was, wasn't was under warranty again, I said, let me look into the room, the iRobots. So I purchased the iRobot Roomba 960 and I got it in the mail, <laughs> as you will see, um, this past week. I've been using her for about yeah, about a week, maybe 10 days. And I am madly in love with her and she is so much better than my original one. And so let me just tell you a little about her. Um, by the way, I named, I named her. Um, and her name is Grace, after Amazing Grace, because <laughs> that's amazing to me how much crap she picks up. It's awesome. We have a lot of rescue animals. So um, I love she gets under all the furniture and she just is amazing. So what I like about this um, particular robot is um, I can start her from anywhere on my phone. So you download the app um, and I can say, oh, hey, clean while I'm away. You know, I don't have to go in and push the button, which is what I had to do with my old one. Not that that's a big deal, but I'm just talking convenience. This is really neat. Um, if she gets stuck, it'll actually alert me on my phone and say, Oh, I'm stuck. She has only gotten stuck twice in the week that I've had her and my other one would get stuck twice a day. Um, and both times it was my fault. Well, she was in my closet, knocked something down and, you know, rolled over and sucked up something. And so she got stuck that way. And then she rolled over a pair of my sneakers. Um, but otherwise she pushes things out of the way gently. Um, she goes around, like if you leave clothes around, she'll go around like if it's a, like sometimes I'll leave like a pile of clothes in the, um, uh, bathroom and I will forget to take it to the laundry room and she'll just go around because it's piled. Now if it's one sock, she'll probably try and suck it up, but she's a lot better at not sucking things up than the original or than my Niato. Um, the other thing is I love that, uh, I can program her on my phone or, or schedule her on my phone, uh, through the week. So you will see like Monday through Friday, I have her starting at 6 30 in the morning and then Saturday and Sunday at 10 in the morning. And I love that she, I could just hear her powering on and know that she's going to clean. And she's very, very smart. So what she'll do is she runs for an hour and a half. So she does her hour and a half of cleaning. She'll go back and charge. She'll come back out and leave off where, um, or she'll come back to where she left off and then finish the cleaning job. Uh, you can program her to clean just one time through the house, two times through the house, or what she feels is necessary. Well, I say twice. <laughs> I'm just like that. So that's what she does. And I don't really have to think about her. Uh, to empty the bin, wow, how nice. My old one, you pulled, you lifted it up and then you had to pull the filter off and then empty it out and it was hard to get the filter off and then stuff went everywhere and it just was a mess to always empty it. Hers, I will show you, all you do is just, you know, snap pull, you open, you dump, you don't have to touch real, I mean, it's just, it's just so much nicer. Um, she's a lot quieter as well, which is always important. She doesn't bother my husband as much. Um, as the original. So let's go ahead and I will show you the video of how she works. And um, I hope, as always, if you enjoy my reviews, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss a video or a Friday favorite, 
hit that little bell. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, bye. So excited, first of all, we have had not had mail, UPS, or FedEx for something like, what has it been? 10 days, something like that. So everybody was here today. I was so excited. FedEx, UPS. I almost hugged the UPS driver. I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God. So anyways, look what came today. So excited. The iRobot Roomba 960. I am excited about this. Um, I have a Neato, which we've had for a year and a half, and she had a malfunction. And I'm gonna send her in to be repaired, but I want to try the iRobot Roomba out. And guys, I got her off of QVC, because you know how I feel about them. I'm gonna try her out for 30 days, and if I don't like it, back she goes. So let's open her up. Let's see what she's all about. <laughs> I had, you know, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I've never been so excited to see the male people in my life. Okay, let's go, let's rock and roll. Um, so let's open her up, and she's pretty technical technically advanced and I'm not so is it a compatible match I don't know all right let's find out oh look how pretty she looks I how sad is my life that I'm so excited about a vacuum cleaner but here's the thing we have four cats and a dog and the dog sheds more than the four cats combined so very excited so look how beautiful this is I'm gonna put you up here gorgeous right she is so beautiful anyways she's a she because um, as all you women out there know, the best cleaners are women, come on. So she, I'm gonna take her out of the box. She's heavy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and there she is here. And she has directions, which is important. What else came in the box? Ah, this is the, um, uh the the charger you know she'll come home and charge oh no, there's got to be more in here yep okay so in here oh how cute we have her little brush cord extra filter look how tiny this is wait if i showed you the difference the other filter in the aniato is twice the size and then we have oh these are barriers Okay, positioning the home base. Place the home base in an open, uncluttered area. Well, I already know where she's gonna go. I'm gonna send her back. But this is what I'm talking about. Look at the size of the filter in comparison. Huge, so look at the size of the dirt bin. Okay, so I'm just gonna hook up the extension cord, guys. And all we're doing is plugging her in there. And then I saw the little thing here. And green light it's one and a half feet in each direction so I am about to download as you can see the iRobot home app so uh oh I have three oh, percent God, of course I do I'm gonna go charge my phone okay guys so we're gonna set up the virtual wall sensor like the the thing that will make it not go into a room because what I'm gonna do is actually set it up so it cannot go into my daughter's room or my son's room because they're both little piglets and that way um and this is kind of cool like it's just like a little box and it's you put two double a batteries in it's included and then it's supposed to last eight months if you kept it on the whole time which guys i'm not lying i run my i used to run my my grace twice a day. That's because I've got, I'm kind of a neat freak, so I don't like hair. And when you have the animals, rescue babies. That's what happens. So I'm just gonna put the, I look terrible. I have no like, I, I'm still in my gym clothes from this morning. Oh well, I get points for going to the gym, right? All right. Hardest thing is to get the batteries out. Okay. So we're gonna put the batteries in. Let's see if I got them in the right way. What do you think? It's a 50-50 shot. 
Okay. So, turn. Oh, this is kind of cool. So, if you want a straight line, you move this up to a straight line, and if you want a circle, move it down. So, I just want a straight line. And you see, did you see it beeping? Beep, beep, beep. So, let me show you why I'm gonna do this. Please, come with me. Okay, so let me show you why. Because, like I said, just pick this. So, this hallway goes into my son's room and my daughter's room and then the bathroom. So there's really no reason. So I'm what I'm gonna do, she's so, her profile is so little that I'm just gonna sit her right here and then um, maybe the line needs to go that way, I think, probably. I'm gonna guess. So she's right there. So that would stop her from going into the hall. Okay, so I downloaded the iRoomba app and all you're gonna do is <clears throat> create an account. So basically you're just gonna, there, you know, your name, address, or name, email, stuff like that, right? And then I have her in the room because <laughs> my phone's attached to the charger. Now it's saying that it wants to find the robot. So I'm gonna say, set up a new robot. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so right here it says, find a robot. Let me just, First of all, my guess is I have to pull this thing. Okay, and then there's another thing here. All the packing stuff. So let's see if that helps. And then I'm gonna take this plastic off that's around her. Packaged good. Okay, she didn't come charge. Wouldn't it tell me? Okay, so here she is, we have the clean button, home button, spot button, shows the battery level full, here's the Wi-Fi connection, if there was an error it would show up here, and then empty bin is here. Let me show you that. All you do is push this button down, pull it out, and then this opens up, and there you can see all the stuff that she has collected. And so it's really, really easy and we have cats so she picks up cat litter um, so I end up getting it on the floor so see I have this little mess right here so I'm just gonna hit the spot clean and let's see if she'll go ahead and just do this little area here Probably should have moved her over there. She does that. And you saw she got that dirt. Yay! She's kind of going in what I would call a half circle. Well, she'd probably go in a full circle if the wall wasn't there. Yeah, that's exactly what she's doing. She's doing a little half circle. Oh, there, a full circle. That's just the spot clean. So if you have something that you really want her to clean, that's what she'll do. 